हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ आसिस्टंट प्रोफेसर वत्सल डी पटेल फ्रॉम सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट वर्किंग एट महात्मा गांधी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्निकल एजुकेशन एंड रिसर्च सेंटर नवसारी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कव्स एंड अवर टुडे इज टॉपिक इज क्लासिफिकेशन एंड एलिमेंट्स ऑफ कव्स सो बी रेडी विथ योर पेन एंड पेपर सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ इंट्रोडक्शन फर्स्ट सो कव्स आर जनरली यूज ऑन हाईवेज एंड रेलवेज वेर इट इज नेसेसरी टू चेंज द एलाइमेंट अ कव इज ऑलवेज टेन्जेंशियल टू द टू स्ट्रेट डिरेक्शन्स द टू स्ट्रेट लाइन कनेक्टेड बाय अ कव आर कॉल टेन्जेंट्स सो यू कैन सी रियल लाइफ इमेज ऑफ कव्स इन हियर ओके सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट दिस कव्स आर जनरल यूज ऑन हाईवेज and railways where it is necessary to change the alignment when two straight of a highway or railway are at some angle each other a curve is introduced between them to avoid an abrupt change in direction and to make the vehicle move safely smoothly and comfortably a curve is provided at the intersection of the two streets to effect a gradual change in the direction this change in direction of the streets may be in a horizontal or a vertical plane resulting in the provision of horizontal or a vertical curve respectively next is classification of curves okay so here you can see classification of curves okay so a horizontal curve is provided at the point where two straight lines intersect in the horizontal plane when the curve is provided in the horizontal plane it is known as a horizontal curve and as you can see in the flow chart the horizontal curves are further classified as simple circular curve compound curve reverse curve transition curve and combined curves and next one is vertical curve a vertical curve is provided at the point where the two straight lines at different gradients intersect in the vertical plane in such a case a parabolic curved path is provided in the vertical plane in order to connect the gradients for easy movement of the vehicles verticals vertical curves are usually parabolic and are classified as summit and sag vertical curves okay so you can see the classification of curves here in the flow chart okay so it is important so be sure you remember this one okay next is types of circular curves so there are mainly three types of circular curves first one is simple curve second one is compound curve and third one is reverse curve so let us start with the simple curve okay so a simple curve is consist of a single arc of the circle and it is tangential to the both to both the straight lines okay so here in image you can see curve part or say arc is here okay and elements are shown are here and its real life image will be like this okay this is just a image okay so to understand what is simple curve next is compound curve a compound curve consists of two or more simple arcs the simple arc turns in the same direction with their centers of curvature on the same side of the common tangent okay so in figure you can see here all the elements okay so in figure an arc of radius r1 has center o1 and the arc of radius r2 has center o2 okay so all the elements are shown here okay so this is the real life image of compound curve okay but it is not 
like this okay it is not visible like this okay so same thing will be not in the real life okay but this is just a image to understand what is compound curve okay next is reverse curve a reverse curve consists of two circular arcs which have their centers of curvature on the opposite side of the common tangent the two arcs turn in the opposite direction reverse curves are provided for low speed roads and railways okay so you can see all the elements of reverse curve here okay in this image and its real life image is here okay so you can understand from it this is the reverse curve okay next we are going to discuss about elements of simple circular curve this theory is very important for your examination okay so be sure you remember each and every term okay and this one is also useful for the solving many cases as well as many procedure to draw the curves okay so be sure you remember this one very well okay so figure shows a simple circular curve radius r with center at o okay so you can see all the elements in the image here okay so the curve is set out between two straight lines which are tangents to the curve okay so let us discuss each and every term so first one is back tangent so the tangent a say a t1 so, okay tangent so if we talk about image okay so t1 is here and a is here okay so this one is back tangent okay so the tangent say a t1 previous to the curve is called a back tangent or first tangent second one is forward tangent the tangent say t to be following the curve is called a forward tangent or second tangent so here t to be forward tangent okay next is point of intersection or it is denoted by pi okay short form is pi so if the tangent at1 and at2 are produced they will meet in a point called the point of intersection and it is also called vertex say v okay so if we talk about this this one is here uh, at1 and at2 join here and this point is known as the point of intersection v okay next is point of curve or it is denoted by pc okay so it is the beginning point of t1 of a curve at this point the alignment changes from tangent to a curve okay so point of curve is shown here this one okay pc point of curve which will be start from the t1 next is point of tangency or say pt so the end point of a curve t2 is called the point of tangency okay so you can see point of tangency pt t2 here okay next is intersection angle phi so the angle a v b between tangent av and tangent vb is called the intersection angle so if we talk about image here it is okay so we talking about the triangle avb so here is the angle of intersection this one okay we have already seen it is denoted here angle of intersection phi okay next is deflection angle the angle at pi so what is pi we will discuss here point of intersection okay it all the terms will be in short form okay so be sure you remember full form of it okay so the angle at pi between the tangent av 
प्रोड्यूस एन वी बी इज कॉल्ड डिफ्लेक्शन एंगल ओके सो डिफ्लेक्शन एंगल विल बी हियर दिस वन ओके दिस सेक्शन ओके सो दिस इज द डिफ्लेक्शन एंगल पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन इज हियर ओके सो दिस वन इज द डिफ्लेक्शन एंगल डेल्टा ओके सो डिफ्लेक्शन एंगल इज डिनोटेड बाय डेल्टा नेक्स्ट इज टेंजन डिस्टेंस सो इट इज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन पी सी वॉट मीन्स पी सी हियर पॉइंट ऑफ कव ओके एंड टू पी आई वॉट इज पी आई पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन बी सी और यू रिमेंबर इट सो आई एम अगेन रिपीटिंग इट ओके सो इट इज ऑल्सो द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन पी आई टू पी टी ओके सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट दिस आई टेंजन डिस्टेंस विल बी दिस वन ओके पी आई टू पी टी बोर्ड द साइड ओके टेंजन डिस्टेंस ओके नेक्स्ट इज एक्सटर्नल डिस्टेंस और से इट इज डिनोटेड बाई कैपिटल ई सो इट इज द डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ द कव टू पी आई से पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन ओके इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड द एपेक्स डिस्टेंस ओके सो हियर दिस वन दिस एपेक्स डिस्टेंस ओके दिस एपेक्स डिस्टेंस इज नोन एज द external distance or say capital e next is length of curve say l it is the total length of curve from pc to pt okay next long chord it is the chord joining pc to pt t1 t2 is a long chord okay next is normal chord a chord between two successive regulation or say regular stations on a curve is called normal chord normally the length of normal chord is one chain or say 20 meter next is sub chord the chord shorter than normal chord or say shorter than 20 meter is called sub chord next words sign the distance between mid point of long chord say capital d and the uh, apex point capital c is called worst sign it is also called mid ordinate or it is also denoted by capital m okay so if we talk about it it will be here mid ordinate or worst sign this one okay next is right hand curve if the curve deflects to the right of the direction of the progress of survey it is called right hand curve next is left hand curve if the curve deflects to the left of the direction of the progress of survey it is called left hand curve so next topic is designation of curve okay so the sharpness of curvature of a curve may be expressed in any of the following way first one is radius of the curve and second one is degree of the curve so if we talk about radius of the curve the curvature is defined by stating the length of radius say a 300 meter curve This method is often employed in subdivision surveys and sometimes in a highway work. And if we talk about degree of the curve, degree of curve may be defined either with respect to a fixed length of an arc of the curve or with respect to a fixed length of a normal chord of the curve. So when the unit chord subtends an angle of one degree, it is called one degree curve. when the angle is 2 degree a uh, 2 degree curve and so on so here the curvature is expressed by stating the degree of curve say capital d okay so let us uh, let us understand it so first one is radius of the curve or say capital r it is denoted by capital r so in this method the curve is known by the length of its radius for example 200 meter curve means the curve having radius 200 meter 
और से सिक्स चेन कव मीन्स द कव हैविंग रेडियस इक्वल टू द सिक्स चेन दिस मेथड इज यूज इन इंग्लैंड नेक्स्ट इज डिग्री ऑफ द कव सो इन दिस मेथड द कव इज डेजिग्नेटेड बाय अ डिग्री द डिग्री ऑफ कर्वेचर कैन बी डिफाइन बाय टू वेज बाय कॉर्ड डेफिनेशन एंड बाय आर्क डेफिनेशन ओके सो लेट अस सी कॉर्ड डेफिनेशन फर्स्ट सो द एंगल सबटेंडेड एट द सेंटर ऑफ कव बाय अ कॉर्ड ऑफ ट्वेंटी मीटर इज कॉल्ड डिग्री ऑफ कर्वेचर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ अन एंगल सबटेंडेड एट द सेंटर ऑफ कव बाय अ कॉर्ड ऑफ ट्वेंटी मीटर इज फाइव डिग्री द कव इज कॉल्ड फाइव डिग्री कव नेक्स्ट इज आर्क डेफिनेशन द एंगल सबटेंडेड एट द सेंटर ऑफ कव बाय अन आर्क ऑफ ट्वेंटी मीटर लेंथ इज कॉल्ड डिग्री ऑफ कव This system is used in America, Canada, India, etc. Next, we are going to understand relation between radius and degree of curve. So, first we will understand it with the by code definition. Okay, so we have already seen the definition of it. So, the angle subtended at the center of curve by code of twenty meter is called degree of curve. Okay, so here you can see the image. Okay, so R capital R, this one is the radius of curve. Okay, D D is the degree of curvature. This one, okay, and PQ this distance P and Q is twenty meter, or say it is length of curve. So twenty meter is already shown here. Okay, so be sure you remember this figure also. So from triangle P C O. Which triangle? This triangle P C O. Okay. From this triangle, sine d by two is equal to tan by r. This one. This is the radius of curve and length of curve are here. Okay. So this will be tan meter because from it is midway. Okay. And length of curve is twenty meter. So sine d by two is given by tan by r. So therefore, what is uh, following process r is equal to 10 divided by sin d by 2 okay so this one sin d by 2 is here okay so when d is small okay sin d by 2 may be taken equal to the d by 2 okay so then sin d by 2 is equal to d by 2 so following the procedure when the d is in the degree So R will be given by 10 divided by d by 2 into pi by 180. Okay, just we are converting it. Okay, so further it is given by 10 into 360 divided by d into pi. Okay, putting the value of it, so we will get 1145.94 or say 1145.92 divided by d. So Approximately say we can say that R is equal to 1146 divided by D. Okay, so this is the given by this equation is given by this figure. Okay, and equation. Next by arc definition. Okay, also we have seen its definition first. So the angle subtended at the center of curve by a chord of 20 meter is called degree of curve. Okay, so you can see all elements here. Okay, twenty meter chord is here. Okay, length is here. Okay, so where d is in degree, two pi r by three sixty is equal to twenty by d. So further, it will be simplified. R is given by twenty into three sixty divided by two pi d. Putting the value of each, it will be given by one thousand one hundred forty five point ninety two divided by c. So we can see that the R will be, or say that the R is given by eleven one thousand one hundred and forty six divided by D. Okay, so same we are getting by chord definition and by by arc definition same value. Okay, so for thirty thirty uh, meter arc, it is given by two pi R by three sixty. Just we are replacing twenty by thirty. Okay, so it will be thirty by D. Okay, so If we talk about D, D will be given by one thousand one hundred forty-five point ninety-two 
1718.9 divided by r or say r is equal to 1718.9 divided by d so this is the relation between radius and degree of curve by different definitions okay so this is the important question which can be asked in your examination these are very important okay so make sure you note down all and mainly the elements of simple circular curve are most important okay so make sure you prepare well for it okay so here i end my session thank you all of you